I'm Shakia Harris. I am 33. Feel My Words is a collection of 16 oil paintings. It was really important for me that I connect with the women of those stories more and more throughout the process that I asked everyone was what happened to you and from there I went through their interviews and I would take quotes from their responses that I would have next to the piece and then from there I would try to find ways either through with brushwork, texture, color, drips that I would work in some of their responses, some of their emotions, some of the things that happened to them into the pieces. I felt like it was important up front that whatever that they told me would be in confidence that I would not release their identities. And I feel like that lent itself to getting more authentic and unedited responses. In several of the responses, the women stated they had never told anybody the things that they were telling me. And, and you don't want to tell people because you're afraid that they'll judge you or maybe they'll think you're less than or you don't want to bother anyone. And I've lived so much of my life coming from that perspective of like, I don't want to bother anyone. They have so many things going on. And ultimately, it's magical when you find out like, hey, there are people that actually do have space for you. They have the space for you to be able to vent or troubleshoot, whatever it may be that you're going through. You know, someone sees these pieces and they are moved by their color, their grace, their beauty, their texture. I hope that they're moved by their stories are able to feel their word and feel hope. You're not broken, you're not evil, you're not damaged. You've had things that have happened to you that are affecting you. Being a person who has endured several traumatic experiences, one thing I've learned, you need to talk about it. People need to ask questions. That's what will help you get to a point to where you don't feel like there's always this big elephant in the room. You're to a place where you can talk about things in a healthy way, in a constructive way, or get the validation you need that like, hey, like, I'm not crazy. Like, I'm not tripping. I have spent a big chunk of my life asking myself what's wrong with me because of the coping mechanisms that I had and from feeling so overwhelmed. I spent such a long period of my life trying to understand why my yearning to not be alive was so strong. I didn't get to a point to where I was just like, that's not an option until I had my son. So I had my son when I was 29 and it was, so you're just gonna have to suffer or you're just gonna have to figure it out. You're gonna do a little bit of both, but you have a whole other person now and you can't put that on him. I didn't anticipate how emotional this journey would make me. Once I started to realize the gravity of the stories that I was attempting to retell, highlight, honor, um, the weight on my shoulders just felt so significant where you're like, I don't even know that I can even do them justice. One thing that I wish I'd done a better job of preparing myself for was the effect of taking in so many stories at once. And I can distinctly remember one time I was in Starbucks with my baby. I went for my order and I opened up my form because you know, I get like little alerts, I open my form. So I kept getting email alerts about it and I open it and I'm, I'm just reading response after response and response. And they always ask me like, you know, what's wrong? What's wrong? Cause I'm bawling. And it was just, um, it was really overwhelming. And I realized I did have space for these women. I did have space for these stories, but I needed to be more mindful about how much space I allotted this project at any given time. I wish that I had set up like appointments with like my therapist or something to kind of like make a plan for how to do not take in all the information at once and just kind of focus on fashion. So this painting is titled, I Still Need You Here. And this one has more of a more personal connection um, because it was inspired by my baby. It's like a young lemon tree. It hasn't been jaded by life yet.
can see the full collection and all of my available artwork at shakiaharrisart.com. And if you're in the Louisville, Kentucky area, I'm going to be having a solo exhibit on February 24th. It'll be at 816 East Broadway. It's downtown Louisville, and it's going to be fantastic, and I really hope that you'll be able to join me. If you think that you might want to create as well, I do have some online courses, and I also have some free ebooks to help you get started.